In the beginning, God created absolutely everything, including the first two people, Adam and Eve. He placed them in a garden named Eden. They had all of the food they wanted. Nothing bad ever happened. Adam and Eve were very happy. That's because God himself was with them. God loved them so much, he came looking for them every day. Adam, Eve, where are you? When Adam and Eve heard God's voice, they ran to him. God loved Adam and Eve very much, and they loved God right back. God gave them everything in the garden to enjoy, but there was one tree they could not eat from. God said if they ate from that tree, they would die. A serpent came to Eve, but he wasn't just any serpent. He was Satan in disguise. Did God really say not to eat from any of the trees in this garden? No, that's not what he said. He said we could eat from any tree we want to, except that one. If we do, even if we touch it, we will die. Are you sure? I think God is holding out on you. He knows if you eat the fruit from that tree, you will become like him. Sounds to me like this God of yours isn't telling you the whole truth. Eve listened to what the serpent said. That was her first mistake. Then she looked at the tree God told her not to eat from. That was her second mistake. The more Eve looked at the fruit on that tree, the yummier it seemed. Soon she wanted that fruit more than she wanted to believe and obey God. So Eve picked the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam who ate it too. The serpent was very happy, but Adam and Eve were not. Suddenly, they realized they were naked. This time, when Adam and Eve heard the voice of God, they didn't run to him like they had before. Instead, they hid. Still, God searched for them. Adam, Eve, where are you? Over here, God. I heard you coming and I hid because I was naked. When God heard Adam's words, he was filled with a deep, deep sadness. Who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? It was the woman you gave me. She gave me the fruit. It, it was the serpent. He tricked me. God was sad. He knew nothing would ever be the same. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That's sin, and sin separates people from God. Sin had come into the world. Adam and Eve had to leave the garden God had just made for them. It was a very sad day. But even though the world would never be the same, God already had a plan to fix our broken friendship with Him. So even though this is the end of this story, it wasn't really the end at all. You see, all of this happened in the beginning.